So the title for this exhibition is Indivisible Elephant, and that title references an ancient Indian parable um, that tells of six blind men who are uh, presented an elephant by a Raja or a Buddhist teacher. And they are given different parts of the elephant, and then they are asked to describe the elephant based on which particular part they are feeling of the elephant. And so one blind man feels the head of the elephant and thinks that it is like a giant pot. Uh, one blind man feels the leg of the elephant and describes it as being like a pillar. Uh, one blind man feels the ear of the elephant and thinks the elephant is like a fan or a woven basket. And the other three blind men also feel different parts of the elephant and each one interprets the elephant differently based on his own perspective. And eventually the six men disagree so much about describing the elephant that they begin to quarrel and um, they soon begin to fight. And really the premise of the parable is that um, different interpretations, um, different perspectives develop different interpretations. And really I think a deeper premise for the parable is that there's no one perspective that is more true or more correct than the other because they're all based on personal understanding and personal perspectives. And so we use that parable as the premise for this exhibition because Theo Wujik, even though he's an American artist, he's very inspired by contemporary Chinese art and traditional Chinese culture. And uh, Kurt Ki Wong, who is a Chinese American artist who was formerly trained in China, now working in America, is very influenced by American culture. So we're addressing the idea of how these two cultures look from these perspectives which are beyond these cultures. So you have an American artist um, interpreting Chinese culture and a uh, Chinese, traditional Chinese artist uh, interpreting contemporary American culture.